All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero, or welcome, the welcome back, welcome back, uh, kaka. Anyway, welcome back. If you caught my early access launch uh, series, it wasn't really much of one. I think it was like five episode stops. But I've been looking forward to this game for a while. I absolutely adore Subnautica. It's probably the best uh, open world survival sandbox kind of game. I guess it's not really open world. It's a little bit more closed world than that. But it's probably the best one in the market, bar none, just because amazing story, lovely visuals, completely unique uh, environments, story, uh, everything. I don't know. Uh, and it's just cool. I don't know. Hey, anyway, let's get rolling. Uh, let's see. Hello. So survival, freedom, but without hunger, or thirst, hardcore, or creative. I have no idea how tempting it is to go freedom, but I'm going to stick on survival for the time being. I'll probably be fine. I am still suffering from the side effects of, of my second dose of the vaccine, so I am absolutely zonked. Uh, somebody had asked, oh god, that animation is adorable. I... Shall I think I need to get you to play this series? I think it would be really cool. I think I need you to get to play the whole dang thing. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Wow, this is a badass intro. That's incredibly badass. Using a meteor. Forty-five, forty-six feet. Surface temperature is drop pod deployed. Okay, so this is a little loud. This happens every single time I launch a game. Welcome to 4546 feet. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> what an intro! I that's incredible. All right, pick up a flare. I don't know if I have much for, for supplies. Pull from. Okay, so that's where we want to go. I'm just gonna yoink what I can. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. I wonder how long these flares last. Alright, what else we got? Well, nice of her to already be in a in a wetsuit. This would be inconvenient otherwise. The lady, hop in the water. But I'm wearing pants. No. Have you ever tried swimming with pants on? It sucks. Like, it's... It is top ten one of my least favorite experiences trying to swim a considerable distance in, like, full clothes, pants, and shoes included. Boy, howdy. All right, let's get out of here. This place is a mess. Holy smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Okay, so something toasted me for a hot second there. Flip side, my temperature gauge is back up. All right, do I have anything else? No. Well... I don't see anything above the surface that I should be grabbing. So let's just ignore. Back. Back fish. Back fish. New Sweet. creature discovered. Got a boomer. Sea glide fragment. Well, alright. Useful. But not right now. I'm curious if my mods actually are functional. Because I, I downloaded and installed some mods, but I should have a bunch of quick slots that I currently... Oxygen. Ah. Uh, 
I should have a, a lot more quick slot slots than I do. Well, we'll find out. All right. Found the drop pod. Okay, storage is empty. Fabricator. I want Sorry, to but... offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. I love audio logs. Like, I like reading them, but the voice acting is super good. And it's kind of one of those where I can just kind of well, sit back Sam, and relax. I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Okay. So you'll know if mods worked because there will be a mod. Ah, they didn't work. Okay, so I could cook some food. Yeah, let's cook the boomerang. So I'll have to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we do have the nutrient block. But I'm just going to eat the... too much. That was... that was too much. Okay, so mods... mods are not functional. Hmm. I don't know how much I want to screw around with getting them set up. I already have them downloaded, but I guess they don't... they didn't work. Plants plant. electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. I think I'll just go vanilla for the time being, and if I start running into problems, then I'll I'll mess with it. But considering, you know, I am absolutely zonked out, I, it might just be easier for me to... Uh, oh, that's cool. New creature discovered. Oxygen. <laughs> oh, sweet. Baby. New creature discovered. Okay, do not, do not mess with penguin babies. The parents will get mad. Not that mad, but kind of mad. They're adorable. Look at these little suckers. They're so cute. Like, they're creepy because they've got this, like, vertical, uh, vertical mouth head business going on. But it's just, like, it's a cute alien penguin thing. Can you eat penguin babies? I don't know, but I don't care. Uh, gosh. I was, I was one of those people that was, like, big on stuffed animals when I was younger. Uh, and I had a whole bunch of them. I'd use them specifically to, uh, to put between me and the wall of, you know, the bedroom I was in. Um, because I, I never really liked the feeling of, like, bumping into a wall at night. Uh, nowadays, my bed is just offset from the wall, so it's no big deal. Um, but so I would effectively just have this, like, layer of stuffed animals insulating me against... Oxygen. Uh, insulating me against, you know, potentially bumping the wall. And so I had, a, like, a pup, uh, a penguin that I really liked. I had, like, a... supply cash nearby. Uh, let's see. It's not that nearby. Uh, but I had a penguin. I had a... I think it was a Cocker Spaniel stuffed dog. Um, I think I had other stuff too, but I, I've totally forgotten what I had. But those were the primary two that I really remember. Oh, I had a Sonic the Hedgehog that I absolutely adored. Uh, let's see. Anyway, let's grab a couple more ribbon plants. My inventory is getting kind of full. Is it? That's a big inventory. But I can make it bigger eventually. Uh, let's see. But so, I don't know. I've always had a soft spot for penguins growing up. Especially because, like, I lived in California and we had uh, SeaWorld nearby. Oh, those are some cute solar panels. I like that. 
And so, like, it, we would not infrequently go in, uh, let's see, I guess I just gotta make everything. Gotta find some creep vine to make the rest of this. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna make whatever until I can make something bigger. I think I haven't found what I'm really looking for yet. Because, yeah, we do have a waterproof locker. I'll make one real quickly, but where do I get the knife from? Maybe I have to get the knife from elsewhere. Now, oh, use storage containers instead for the inside. What? Oh, oh, right. I do have a storage container. Okay, let's just put a lot of these away. We still haven't figured out how to make the knife. So there's a very real possibility maybe I have to go to that location first. I guess let's just do it. It's not that far away. It does the PDA say Altera anywhere. It's... Yenna works or Xeno works? It's one or the other. So we might not have our PDA spying on us. There we go. You're my buddy. You're coming with me now. Let's grab what else we can. Here's the question. Can I break limestone rocks with the boomerang fish? I can. This feels like crimes, but I'll do it. Here's the question. Do we have the big biters? I don't actually see any. I'm used to Creepvine having uh, bitey dudes that would just kind of hang out in the immediate area. Oxygen. Yeah, so does Xenoworks. Cool. Giving that poor fish a concussion. It's okay. It's... I mean, that's that's how you stun fish. Uh, in real life. Okay, can I grab these? So one... One thing I really dig... New blueprint synthesized. Oh. I got... What the hell is that? I got... Frosted. I got frosted. Rude. Let's go back up here for a hot second. All right, where the hell am I? Oh, this isn't helpful. All right, let's just scoot through here. It looks like we got some goodies along the way anyway. And one option I'm really digging right now is uh, there's an option in accessibility that highlights interactable objects when you get close, which is really nice. It's not really that helpful, and it does make certain things a little fuzzier. But, I don't know, I'm not the kind of guy that really cares to be, like, squint squinting at, like, uh, you know, nearby places trying to figure out, it's like, okay, is that something I can grab? That's an egg, actually. Oxygen. Okay. I'm pretty deep. Might make it. I did. Oxygen. Sweet. I don't like the PDA voice yet, but I think I think that's normal. Like you're supposed to not like it. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can't do anything to Frosty the Snow Jerk. That's okay. How do I figure out how to make the the knife? I 
guess I'll just keep looking around for a hot bit. See what I can grab. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's probably time to go make some basic tools soon. Yeah, if I can find that functionality. I... Hopefully, I'll be able to. Okay, inventory is dang full. Oh, it's okay. We're close to home and we've got tons of resources to pull from. So it's not too bad. I love the bioluminescence. That is such a nice look. I should probably look at the rest of these logs. Okay, let's kill another one. Oh. Never mind. If they're not voice acted, I don't care right now. I'll look at the rest Oxygen. of them later. Um, but I am pretty tired, so it's kind of like reading reading something out loud is going to wreck me much faster than normal. I love the fact that you can see inside. I don't know. This game is just joyous. Okay, basic materials. Lube! Yes! I have returned. No tools yet, though. Oh, no, here we go. Equipment. Okay, so I can make fins. I need fiber mesh to make the rest of that. What about this? Let's start with the knife. And the fins. Yeah, so I needed the rubber more than anything else. Okay, battering glass, crystalline sulfur, air bladder. Emergency flotation device. Might be something to look into. But we want the scanner more than anything else. What do I need for a battery? Copper ore and ribbon plant. I've got... I've got some more creep vine. Uh, let's make more rubber. I don't think we actually need lube right now. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Cooked food, cured food. Might as well just cook all of these. So is this the exact same planet as Subnautica? I'm assuming it's got to be at least somewhat the same planet, owing to the fact that, you know, the environment... Okay, it is the same planet. So presumably this is some amount of... Uh, some amount of time after the first game, maybe they came back to this planet to, to study it. I'm just going to theorize that. Okay, this is inventory. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of filtered water. Oh, right. We grabbed them all. Well, let's just dump almost all of this off. Where did my flippers go? Did I auto-equip them? I did auto-equip them. Okay, so we still also have a creature egg. Move that over. A couple of food bricks and food. Okay. I'm actually over full. Well, that's fine. Aha! You're mine now. Struggle all you like. It won't help you. Okay. Wow, that, that knife breaks shit quick. Alright, there we go. Now this is the stuff I'm looking for. It's so nice having this, uh, this highlighted items. I wish it went out a bit further, but I guess that would produce a lot of visual noise, so I can kind of understand Oxygen. why they don't have that. The copper ore instantly. Now you just need those plants for the batteries. And I've already got, I've already got those, so we should probably just go back and build that immediately. Norm Normally I'd swim around for a little while, but I think we want to grab as much as we can. Nope, nothing there. Knifing, knifing, knifing the ocean blue. Hello. Give me them sweet rocks. Uh, let's see, would you like a piece of advice? Probably not. Unless it's something like I absolutely Oxygen. need, uh, absolutely need. Thing is, like I've played all of Subnautica one, uh, twice, I guess. I played a considerable amount of the early access version, then I played the, uh, the full version. Okay, we just need the ribbon plant. Um, 
Oh, bullseye shrimp pieces are food. I figured they for they'd be for production. Oh well. Um, but I also did play the early access version of this, so it's kind of like any. <sighs> well, I appreciate people's desire to help me. It's also one of those that I really like self uh, like the feeling of self discovery when I play these games. Um. All right, I have a scanner. If I get really stuck, though, I I will start asking. It's just a quality of life thing. All right, shoot. It's fine. I just know lots of people have uh, always showed up to be like, here's here's some basic advice, and then just tells me everything about the game, and it's just like, ah. Uh. Okay. I'm so close to being done. Ooh. Ah. Uh. So close to being done with my my video on back seating, so uh, I feel like I need to finish that off. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, that's that's storage. Well, I guess I might as well store some of these things, and my inventory as well. It's fine. Uh, how do I? There we go. All right, so let's see if I can find the sea glide. Coral bridge. That's kind of bright. Uh, can I scan fish? Fish. Yeah, we saw some sea glide bits all over the place. Let's see, tools slow you down slightly when held. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm just I'm just lazy enough that I won't switch away anyway. Oxygen. I could have scanned that. Didn't know. Okay, what else we got? Twisted Madrake. Scan everything. Just, let's see. Back. Fish. That's cute. That thing's cute. It's kind of dopey, but it's, it's cute. Okay, what else do we have? There's something here. Narrow leaf. I'm here for science and bright flashes that is rapidly exacerbating my headache. Oxygen. Ah. Uh, I'm watching water play Subnautica because I myself am terrified of the ocean deep. I there are only a couple of things that really spook me, and it's mostly just the Reaper Leviathan. And even then, like I kind of slowly got over my immediate fear of it. Uh, in the first game, mainly just because it was kind of, they were kind of predictable. You knew where they were going to be. Uh, so they weren't that heinous. Huh. It's probably like an ice storm. I love the weather effects. Let's see. Can I scan the quartz? No, but I can just pick it up. My inventory is going to totally fill up here. And that's going to be a problem. We're jellyfish crabs that got to me. Oh, gosh. I forgot about those things. Yeah, they were real creepy. They weren't... I don't remember them being much of a threat. Like, I don't... I don't actually remember most creatures being much Oxygen. of an immediate threat. They were just kind of there, and then occasionally they'd be a serious problem. But otherwise, as long as you gave them a wide berth, they were... they were nothing. Didn't make them feel any less spooky, though. You know, interestingly enough, eh, I don't know if I'd say Subnautica is one of my favorite horror games I've ever played. But it certainly ranks. Eh, maybe horror is not the right tune. Tension? No. Oh. Like, I'm not bi not big for games that try and scare me, but this game does it right. Because you're given so many tools to, like, avoid and deal with all of your problems. It's more of just kind of how bold are you. And what are you willing to deal with? Okay, so I don't think we've got any new no notifications. 
I think we're probably going to want to range out. Oh. Penguin. Penguin wing. <laughs> they look so nonplussed. They're just like, what are you doing? Why are you scanning me? Why would you do this? Okay. Well, I guess we should go back and make a sea glide at the very least. Yeah, mild horror. Suspense. I feel like suspense is a good way of putting it. That you're just kind of... Especially when you're ranging out to a new location, you're always just slightly on edge. Uh, and that's a feeling not a lot of other games have really mastered. I'd say Resident Evil has done it, but I think it's only mostly affected Shell. Uh, let's see, so we need battery and loop. I need some more ribbon plants. I should have some, yeah? I got enough. No, right, need battery. Okay, there's the sea glide. That makes my life easier. Trying to figure out how the, the pod glide keeps the air in when you open the door. Transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Okay. Let's make as many batteries as we can. Because we're definitely going to need them. At least until we get a, a proper scanner. Okay. So I still got to get the fiber mesh, but I know where to get that. I'm going to need glass for the flashlight. I don't know if we need the air bladder as much. Uh, let's see. Just eat those right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess let's just move all these over and then uh, go stab me some, some seaweed. Let's see, it was over here. We might as well grab some more creepvine clusters as we go by, too. I think I'll have to play through Subnautica again. The Subnautica again. Probably play it now that I've developed coping methods for scary games. Narr narrate it like, uh, Crocodile Hunter. That's kind of fun. Oh shit, these are huge. Oxygen. Now, does anybody know if the, uh, if keeping the map on with the sea glide costs power? Because I'm pretty sure keeping the flashlight on costs, uh, power in the first game. Probably exactly the case. Alright. Let's make the fiber mesh. Uh, I think it does. Yeah, I figured as much. Let's just make a little bit of both. You know, that would be a mod. I, I realize it would be totally cheesy, but I would like a mod that just uh, gives me batteries that just recharge slowly over time. 100% cheesy. Honestly, frankly unfair, but it would be nice. Okay, so we're going here. Storage, we need two titanium. additional blueprints to your data bank. Oh. The okay. standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Okay, so we need to find crystalline sulfur somewhere, and I have not found that yet. There's also something about a deluxe air tank, but I think we have to wait a while before we get to that. Uh, let's see, computer chip. So we need table coral samples, gold, and copper wire. Yeah, so things I don't immediately have. Uh, let's grab some water. Let's grab that. Seems my inventory is nice and full. I'm just gonna leave it here. That is very small. Okay. Well, where do we go? Oh, right, I don't have the... I don't have the... Uh, let's see, the mod for the map yet. 
That's a shame. You know what is also... I'm not going to say a shame, because I, I totally understand why it's not a thing. I do really wish these games were multiplayer. Being able to play this with, like, another friend or two more friends would just be the most incredible thing ever. I know there's a mod for Subnautica 1 that adds multiplayer, and that's that's something that I, I might look into eventually. Just, uh, just specifically so I can rope Shell into playing. Because I, I think she would absolutely adore this game. Oh, right. We never scanned the, uh, the creep vine. She likes playing the, uh, the initial early access version. We never put that out. Mostly my fault. Uh, editing takes time and effort. I think I still have the footage. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I might edit that down into kind of a highlight of like, hey, she'll play the early access version. Uh, the footage is like two years old, but it's still good. Okay, let's just go deeper. I'm not sure how much we need to worry about pressure. Is that SOS? Yeah, that's S that's SOS. That sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Okay. Arginite outcrop. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Grab what we can. And then go back up. Yep. Three short, three long. I think, uh, back when I was a kid. Oxygen. I got that wrong. There was like a video game where you had to SOS. Oh, replenish oxygen. Oh. That's really cool. I assume that that fills back up again. Somewhat on the re regular. Oh, Galena. Let's keep scanning all of these. Galena gives lead. What else we got around Warning. here? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Mobile vehicle bay. Alrighty. I mean, I guess, why not? Give me the goodies. Now, did they get rid of the, uh, the sea moth? I want to say they did. Oh, that's a cool looking... weird manta beast. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Now, is that one creature? That's one creature. And it looks kind of spooky. Oh, those are only worth 30 seconds. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Well, I see a structure down here at the very least. I see a couple of things. Oh, are we here already? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Oh. Got a data box for the rebreather. Re That's Galena. I see some more oxygen Warning. over here. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Do we just go for it immediately? Might as well. I don't know what that is. I don't want to check it out. Okay. Potentially cannon will die. Uh, let's save. Just in case. They have plenty of these oxygen plants all over the place, though. I absolutely adore it. Scan the pillars. Can't do. 
there is actually nothing to scan. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that's oxygen. So let's uh let's see if there's any immediate loot in this area. It actually this seems pretty pretty thin. Well, let's go check it out anyway. I was hoping I could One grab thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Like another creature egg. Oh, but my inventory is full anyway. Hello. Hello. Is someone there? In a manner of speaking. We're running out of time. So this is the same. At least. I'm what curious. Is all this? Seeking an emergency storage museum. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. You will have to do. Dude's gonna brain jack us. Oh. I guess I do have to go this way. Entering the deep sea with low oxygen capacity is a bit terrifying. Yeah. I... It's one of those where I guess I'm just so used to just taking small risks in games that I'm just, like, totally immune to it now. Or it's kind of like, oh, well, if I die, I die. It's not the end of the world. Okay, research. First and foremost, inventory. Honestly, I might drop something. I don't know if I can. Oh, I should have enough inventory space. Let's yoink as many ion cubes as we possibly can. Are they useful for anything? Heck if I know. Probably How long eventually. Have you been stored here? Longer than hoped. Warning. Sanction power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes, okay. Hurry. Architect containment cube. Oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> One hell of a jump. Storage medium accepted. Brace from Chester. Brace? What's happening? Chester. Complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This isn't happening. This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Why is the pretzel over to lay on? Because I'm too zonked to notice that it was on. I apologize about that. Oh well. Ow. Yeah, speaking of headaches. Mine's starting to hit. Uh, I'll stick it out for a while at least. If you ever see my my pretzel overlay on when I'm um, not listening to pretzel, please please tell me because I sometimes forget it's there because I can't see it. Okay, so I think we just go back the way we came. A 
At least that's my general assumption. Hope the bet headache gets better soon. We'll see. Um, I mean, so much of it, I think, is just a matter of... I told you earlier. Must have missed it. Yeah. Be very, very pushy about it, because I don't actually want it on. I just... I'm immersed. I love the inclusion of the oxygen plant. I hope they're all over the place. It would make this whole game a lot more fun. Like, I actually really like the claustrophobic nature of this a fair bit more. Oh, these are sea truck fragments. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Grab all of this tech before we go back. Oh, no, that's a pillar. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, this is why I want the rebreather, but don't have it yet. I think we also need some resources from this immediate zone. Can I... Can I drop these? Yes. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, let's not mess with that. Especially when I'm low on O2. Their sea trek fragment. I think that actually should be enough. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, I see a couple New of these. Technology acquired. Grab a little bit more. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I might actually be able to make it to the surface with this. Ah, right, there we go. Oxygen. Is the virus still in the water? I think we got rid of it. I could be wrong, but I, I think we actually did did get rid of the virus uh, at the end of the first game. Oh, inventory is full. Because you straight up, like, dropped off the, uh... You, like, released the baby, uh, leviathans. And they were the ones that specifically were, like, designed to manage the virus. I think. I could be wrong. It's been some years since I last played Subnautica, and I've, I've forgotten some of the major beats. But yeah, it was a bacterial infection, and the Leviathan spread antibiotics that killed it off. Yeah. Did mention a disease, disease creature frozen in ice. True. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seat code to my species designation. Please call me Al Am. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. A precursor race? But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. 
I have been disconnected from my network for so long, I cannot locate the call address. <laughs> oh, right. That pauses mid-conversation. Well, at least they're actually pretty much done. A rebreather re needs rubber. Synthetic fibers. That's gonna take some time, I think. Yeah, there's also sea truck upgrades, but yeah, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Might actually be able to do that, but I'll have to find gold. Rebreather is probably gonna be the most immediately helpful thing, though. And go from there. The hey, thank you, Trooper Party, for the five gifted subs. By recycling Six air gifted subs. More efficiently at significant depths. Breed the freedom. Okay. So I think we got all of this. Unless I wanted to put together some kind of floating air pump with pipes. I certainly could, but I think it would be silly. Okay, let's make some more titanium ing ingots. Okay. Maybe another battery. Okay, so I'm... I'm absolutely loaded on resources. Oh, uh, we should probably pop outside. Put the egg in here. Anything else? I mean, kind of. The problem is I'm going to forget everything inside this. Which is a bit of an issue. Okay, so the question is... So, I want to make laser cutter. Ingredients unknown. Well, that's not helpful. And we need a computer chip. Computer chip requires... Gold, which we haven't found yet. Let's check my... Nope, that's voice log. Blueprints? No. Data bank. Let's check... The silver and titanium, lead and titanium, titanium and copper. Okay, so it doesn't look like I found gold yet. So we probably got to go deep. Okay. This is working out so far. We got tons of resources. We might want to snag a couple cuttings of this. Just for the extra fiber. That might be too much. I got five. Maybe overkill. We'll see. But yeah, let's go down. Now, there were some big bad boys that were kind of lurking in the deeper section of this. I guess I should probably save just because. Does this game have respawning resources? No, uh, not to my knowledge, but what I will say is that there are so many resources that you pretty much will never need to worry about running out. I could be wrong in this exact manner, but that's another sea shrek fragment. Does that just give me titanium? Yeah, it does. Bit. Okay, who wants to bet I have to go even deeper to find what I'm looking for? Maybe? Oh wow. It really does let me go deep. Okay, this is a little freaky. I don't like the sounds I'm hearing. I'm not seeing a whole lot of rocks, either. So maybe I am, I am too deep.
Unless it's even deeper. Well, I found something at the very least. So we'll give this a, a look-see. Take a battery. Take a diamond with the... Oh, gel sack. Probably have scanned that. I am so down with these oxygen plants. You have no idea how nice they are. Inventory is full. Oh, these rot. All right. We'll get them on the way back. I forgot that they rot. Okay, we've got some oxygen right there. Some not in dire straits yet. And we already get the uh, storage module. Lovely. I don't think I want to go any deeper. I will grab like every diamond available though. Alright. Gel sacks and not much else here. This area is giving me the heebies, so let's just ignore that for the time being. How far along is Wonder? Uh, about an hour? That hurt, whatever that was. Guess there's a creature that actually attacks you out here. Doesn't look like I took a whole lot of damage though. Oh, it was a grabby plant? Wow. Just totally random PDA just hanging out there. How did I even spot that? I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Gosh, I love these oxygen plants. You have no idea how convenient that is to me. Well, you probably do, but I can't help but highlight just how convenient it is. Galena, Galena, Galena. Limestone, limestone. Where are the ever living bots' is gold? I'm starting to feel like it's in a completely different location. It's going to be in a different biome. Well, I guess time to go find another biome. You're freaky looking. Is he following me? No. Yes. Sucks a little bit because I can scan this. Moon coral. Well, it doesn't look like he's coming for me. Okay. Looks like I'm good. Let's grab a little bit of oxygen and keep going. Be convenient for the air bladder rapid ascender. Yeah, but why, ra why waste my resources on that? Well, let's see. I think I got everything of any immediate value here, but still no gold. But there is this. Is this something I can... S yes, exterior grow bed. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Anything else here for scan? Nope. Off we go! Okay, the kind of outcroppings I am looking for are in that biome. Alright. 
Unfortunately, my inventory is, like, nearly full. Okay, you're looking for a rounded rock called a calvarite outcrop. Thanks. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to aimlessly swim until we know what we're looking for. Yeah, I, I hear nibbles. You might have snapped at my heels there. But as long as I don't turn around and as long as I don't stop, we're okay. Unless it's something that can swallow me whole, at which point I'm not okay and I'm going to die. That's a salt deposit. I don't care about those. And maybe we have to go even deeper. Might want a new battery. I have a couple. I don't remember how to equip them exactly. That's Galena. Alright, well, back down we go. I'm just gonna aimlessly wander. Live up to my name. Okay, so that's the weird... We got a couple of these weird squid sharks. I'm gonna try and give them a bit of a wide berth, as they probably can kill me. I guess I'll save again. It's been a little while. I'm not gonna lie, the sound effects. The ambiance that they've created for this game is just peerless. Oh, sea truck fabricator module. No more lithium. Triops. Looks funky. New creature discovered. Now this is just storage module. That's not helpful. And loads of diamonds. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let us rectify that. I'm not... I am not finding this rock. So either I am in fact in the wrong location. Or it's really stinking hard to find. I mean... Ow. Okay, this got freaky for a couple of reasons. Because that squid got close. Okay. Yeah, it's the spiky traps. Yeah, I figured as much. Barely any damage to me. Okay. I'm just going to have to look this up. Where the hell do I find gold? Okay, I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit uh, for this outro. Don't worry, I find the gold. It doesn't take too long. It's just weirdly hard to find in the area as in. Maybe, maybe I passed by it. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I, I find plenty of gold over the course of this. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, Subnautica Below Zero is fantastic, but I we knew everyone should probably know that these games are going to be great. And, well, these games, I don't know, the Subnautica series is fantastic, and, like, 
I expected nothing less and nothing more of this, and it is absolutely met all expectations, if not more. I really like the, I'm going to say the slightly more claustrophobic design. There's less open ocean and a lot more tight spaces to really explore. Um, and maybe this will be uh, less true later on, but one thing I didn't like about Subnautica 1 is there are just big expanses of open ocean where you couldn't see much, except for just murky water, maybe a couple of glowy things, and like, you know, Reaper Leviathan spooking around in the distance. This feels a lot more... Uh, I guess I'd almost say intimate, but that's a little bit of a weird way of putting it, but, you know, it's, it's very close quarters. And I think that actually makes the game feel that much better. Um, and that, you know, if you're going to do a sequel instead of just doing more of the same, having this change of pace is nice. And it does feel kind of like a logical progression from the previous game. You know, where you were so isolated and empty and everything was just this giant expanse. And, you know, now there's so much more to explore in so much smaller spaces. You have an AI companion that talks to you. Uh, your character has a personality. Like, it's it's nice. I like it. Anywho, uh, so this is going to be a full series that shouldn't surprise anybody. I love the first game, and I can't wait to play more of this. I mentioned I had some mods to install that were installed, but they weren't functioning. I've gotten them functioning now, so they'll show up in episode four. It's mostly just inventory increases and, like, a couple of, of like, upgrade slots so I can have, you know, turbo prom. Look, I... If there is a game that has mods, I will install them. It just is what it is. Um, but none of them are particularly game-breaking from what I remember. Okay, maybe a couple of them could be if I exploit them hard. But it's not like it's going to make me fish-proof. So, with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, well, stick around. Because, like I said, this is going to be a full series for sure. So with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.